Hey, how you doing? This is Dave. Uh, I had a lot of people ask me where I come up with the stocks that I'm interested in or stocks I'm watching. And the way I get it from several different sources, but one way I do it is I scan uh, for high volume stocks on the S&P 500. Now, as you can see, this is a TOS platform. Uh, so I'm going to show you, if you're using a TOS platform, how to do a stock scan. If you're using something besides TOS, call them up, call, call your broker, or use the help menu. About every uh, decent trading platform has a built-in scanner. But anyway, what we're going to do is you, I want you to follow right here. You can see right here it says S&P above one million plus a dollar what that is that's stocks in the S&P that have traded uh, the previous day above a million shares and they are up at least a dollar and I'll get down here and hit scan and I get three results for today now today was Monday June 28th so these would be the stocks that I'd be watching tomorrow the reason I'd be watching these stocks is because they were up at least a dollar and they had volume over a million so that tells me they're, they're strong stocks so what I would do I would save them as a watch list and and then I pull them up in my watch list and look at them on the chart and go from there but what I want to do tonight is show you how to set up this scan so here's what we're going to do <clears throat> go right here to where it says load scan query pull this down create a new scan query click on that that's going to bring up this whole new window right here okay we we can name this anything we want to but since i've already got it saved we're, we're not going to do that i'm just going to show you how to set it up you first uh drop down menu scan in and we want to select the public and let's go down here to the S&P 500 so you can see that puts in S&P 500 so that means we're only scanning stocks in the S&P 500 next drop down menu intersect with we're gonna leave that blank uh, go down here net change we want to make that at least one dollar so we'll type in one dollar okay now we have a net change a minimum of one dollar we're not going to put a maximum on it we just want to know that it's went up at least a dollar our next one it will be volume and we're going to put in here one million just type it in and also we won't put a max on it because uh, we just want to make sure it's over a million we don't care what the maximum is and our third criteria will be last so you go down here and you select last and I don't like to buy stocks under twenty dollars I will make an exception if I think it's a good stock uh, with a with a long track record and a good history and a good example is Goodyear Tire and Rubber Company which I have a long position in right now the symbol is GT it trades uh, $11 and change but anyway we're gonna put in a minimum $20 we're gonna go over here and put a maximum of $50 so what that's telling us is we're going to be searching or scanning for stocks for the previous day that went up one dollar on volume of at least a million shares and they trade somewhere between 50 I'm sorry between 20 and 50 dollars a share you just go right here hit save uh, you type in whatever name you want to save it as and that's that's how you do it it's that simple now like I said, I've already saved mine, so I've got two saved. Uh, right here, one, it says S&P above a million plus a buck. 
S&P above a million plus a buck and a half. So let's select this one and let's see what traded today in the S&P at least a, a million shares or a million shares or above and gained at least a dollar fifty. We'll go down here and scan. That brings up one stock, DPS. Uh, not even sure what DPS is. Let's see what it is. Uh, what is DPS? Where's a quick chart? DPS. Uh, holy cow. Well, this thing took off. You, you can't see it. Let me detach it and get it over here where you can see it. Let's look at this rascal. Holy cow. Let's see. This is where we opened this morning. At about 36 and a half and went up to 38. And made a high 38.20. Dr. Pepper. Oh, let me, I'm sorry. You can't see all of it now. Let me get it. <laughs> Alright, just bear with me here a minute. All this daggone technology. Hard for country boy like me to keep up with all this technology sometimes. It's not going to let me resize this window. I done screwed up this whole dang video. Anyway, here's the important part. Daggone it. <laughs> I messed up my video. But you get the point, right? Okay. Uh, now, I'd want to be watching this tomorrow because so something happened here today. You know, I I'd want to go look at the news and everything. I want to find out what caused this uh, $2 or something jump here. Uh, so we're going to uh, close that out and get that out of the way. Or try to. Holy cow. Now. So that's how I scan for stocks. <laughs> I might have to redo this video now. Because <laughs> I drug that chart over here. And, and the way this uh, capture system is set up. It, it looked kind of funky. <laughs> anyway, hey, I hope everybody out there makes a ton of money. I want you to use a stop loss order, and I will talk to you later.